first cold start for the boys. A true, actual cold start. Just pull up to a place called Boosted Coffee Co. and there's this kind of cute girl here that is uh, wanting to go for a quick rip in the Evo. I think she really likes how it sounds. So if you guys didn't really follow the build, I'll give you a quick breakdown. It's a 2.4 with an Evo 9 head. It's got GSC R2s, ETS kit with the 6466. On the dyno last side it made, what was it, 720? Right? Last night? Yeah. Yeah. Something. Which is a touch over 800 if you if you give a fuck about converting to dyno jet numbers. And we're on about 40, well his boost gauge goes to 35. And, that thing's fully maxed out. So it's on like 43 or 44 pounds and it hauls ass. It made over 600 foot pounds and this is Bo's first time experience, experiencing it. Yeah, riding in it or driving in it. Are you scared? A little bit, yeah. All right, well, let's keep this little, oh, and drivetrain wise, it's got an XD twin, a stock six speed, <laughs> a stock T case, non-ACD, <laughs> stock rear diff, stock axles, 
Uh, so one of these days, something's gonna give. Yeah. Hopefully not today. Yeah, that's fine. But no pussy food. Just right. don't, just don't die. Yeah. Right. Well friends, this is one of the last days, if not the very last day, with the Hyper Blue STI. I bought this car with the intentions of not keeping it for very long, because as you guys know, we have a few of these things that I'm actually gonna get rid of here shortly. But this car is ready to go. There's one last thing we do need to do to it today. So I'm gonna take it to the shop real quick, enjoy it one last time, do one last mod to it. Not mod, but just fix one last thing. And then she's going on the market for sale. So if anyone wants a super, super, super clean Hyper Blue STI, hit me up. I guess we have two issues to fix. First up is you guys see the radio. It has all these squiggly lines in it. I've done a little bit of research on that. Apparently that's like the power circuit or something back there showing through. So we're going to swap out the radio. And then secondly, the steering wheel is pretty hammered. So we got a new Hyper Blue steering wheel because these things do have the blue stitching to go with the blue paint. So they are a bit hard to find, but we did source one. As soon as we get both of those swapped out, this thing is dialed and ready to go. That is gonna be the only mod on this entire car is, dun dun dun, an eye doing head unit. These things go in all the cars these days because they're simple, they look good, they perform good, and they are not crazy, crazy expensive. Let's go ahead and pull out that clapped stock radio. Get this guy in, and then here is our steering wheel as well. Shout out to Peyton for the steering wheel. As you can see, it's got the, the blue stitching going on there and she's in absolute mint condition. So as soon as we unclip this piece right here, there will be two bolts holding the radio in and then the radio pops out, a couple wiring connectors on the backside. And then we need to pull some stuff off this radio and get on the new head unit. So the climate control, these vents on this guy here, hazard switch and this button. All these go onto the new head unit and then the new head unit is gonna go in and be a thousand times better without these damn squiggly line, without the damn squiggly lines. This is almost as good as pulling a clutch alignment tool or a grenade pin on a belt tensioner. Ooh, that's nice. New radio's in, looks absolutely beautiful. Very OE looking radio. 
and I'll show you something I've always had issues with in the past on other units. Check this out. Bam. Reverse camera still works. I said this thing was mint before, now she is absolutely 100% mint. This damn car. Dare we even step foot together in this scene? <laughs> I think there's some, some back history there. A lot of them know, a lot of them don't. I'm gonna throw a little clip in right now of hauling ass. <laughs> As you guys know, we have prior history in this vehicle. Some question if it was all the footage that we ever had. Promise it was, because your boy over here could barely breathe. Correct. So, a little bit of a life-changing scenario. Don't do what we did. Yes. But here we are again today. I hear it's faster now. A it is bit. faster. And it, it's on a hotter map than it was back when you rode in it. I'm a little nervous. See it? <laughs> CC injectors. Nice. Just a little something. What's going on here, Josh? That's, that's, my, that's my power steering pump. That's how you know you're going fast. It is. So, um, those of you, obviously, I don't know the car. It's a Subaru. Uh, it has one of our signature Stage X long blocks in it that we rate for a thousand wheel. Um, the car made a thousand eight on our Mustang Dyno at 61 pounds. Uh, this car has gone 896 at 161 in the past on less power. Uh, it has a Precision 7685. Tuned by yours truly. Yeah. Master Bader. That's all there is to it. And old Devin tried to sugar me up for a ride. Because he never got a proper one. You got a pretty proper ride. That was pretty it was about proper. a die ride. Yes. Well, let's uh, yeah. fire it. You got full exhaust too? Full oh, exhaust wow. now. A little bit different car than it used to be. More street friendly. Um, Much electric clean. power steering. Because this obviously is not my power steering pump. This is a mechanical pump. Um, set of ID 2600s in here for those wondering. Stock transmission, 2007. Mm -hmm. Best year of them all. Other than that, it's just a pretty much a street car anymore. Because my dedicated race car is a real pain in my butt. Yes. So I put this back together. Well, let's hear it. You want to hear it? You like my missing exhaust tip? Yeah, it's quite it's nice. Quite wet. It ain't blowing smoke yet. That's good. All right, not bad. Damn, it smells nice. It smells really good. It's got about 400 miles on this motor, street miles. But bro, breaking 500, what's I up? I know. Uh, 30 plus hits on the street at where we're at right now in power. Mexico Street. Mexico Street. All right, let's hop in this thing and uh, not do what we did last time. <laughs>
fuck. That was a <laughs> 165 kilometers. That was brother. Nice. Brother. This thing is way too fast. Look at the back feet. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit, dude. Yeah, that fourth gear is. The fourth is nasty. That is nasty. We'll go down here and let her cool down. Oh my god, dude. But, and this right. is proper ride. Proper being safe. That's right on this road. And then back to stock. It drives very, very good. This car is fast. This is, I think it's the fast car I've ever been in. I don't know of anything that's been faster. I did my job right there. That's fucking crazy. I'm like, like kind of yeah, scared, you, bro. Like you're still <laughs> shaking. Yeah. Damn. All right, well, 1,000 wheel on an Evo coming soon. 100%. I'm ready. Right there with me. Is it? That. You're ridiculous, Josh. I know. Absolutely no. ridiculous. We had to redeem ourselves a little bit. You never got a proper go out, be safe, do a pull. Yeah. And that's what we did today. Damn. Your bumper's popping off. That's how you know you're hauling ass. What's going on here? You got wings. Does it got traction control? It does, but it's off. I don't think I've ever been over here in this car like this. You trust me to drive this pile. Definitely the fastest car I've ever been in. This makes me eager to make my Evo a little bit faster. Probably not a thousand wheel fast. Maybe like 800 because I'm I'm not rich not like a Josh. Wheel? Nah. Let her cool down after all the hits. 